Hello everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I wanna to show you how you can set up an auto search from Netris that will send out to your clients for the MLS, okay? So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to netris.clarity.net and you'll see how to spell it up at the top of the screen. From there, you're gonna input your login. Now, if you're a new agent, this login would have been emailed to you after you watch the video the Border Realtor gives you that teaches you how to use the MLS and you take the 10 question quiz or, or so. And then as soon as you take that, it will email you your login, okay? So once you're in here, we're gonna to go to matrix and that will bring you to the screen in the MLS. So. Next thing we're gonna do is go up to search. And if it's residential properties that you are um, wanting to set up for your clients to see, you would click residential, detailed. Now, if it's commercial or land, et cetera, you would look down here. Lots and acreage for land, commercials here, residential lease for lease properties, okay? So let's go to residential for this example and detailed. Once you're here, um, if this is gonna be an auto email that goes to your clients, I would recommend just checking the active and coming soon um, options here, especially if it is a lower price, uh, price point, just so that way um, they're seeing exactly what is available. Um, you can always leave active contingent, active kickout, active option included as well. That's totally your preference. That's just how I like to do it. So they're going to see anything active and coming soon. Price point over here, you can put, I usually suggest starting at the highest price point that they, they can go to. So let's just say 350,000. And then anything 350,000 and below, I'm going to do a minus sign. So that way it'll show me anything 350,000 and below. Um, you can also do ranges, so maybe between 350000 and 500000 you could do something like that as well. So here's where you put bedrooms and baths. So you could say three, at least three bedrooms, at least two bathrooms. Um, you can specify all of these things. Um, for city, you can choose which cities in here. You can either type it in here or scroll down and find what city it is. So I'm just gonna grab one. Okay, let's just pretend it's Aquila. And if you wanna select more than one by um, pressing on the city, you would hold down the control button while you push another city. And that will help you select multiple cities. Um, keep in mind, there's also the not option at, at the bottom of these. So let's just say that they're looking for um, a single family home, but they do not want a mobile home. So we could go here and click not, and then select mobile um, single, or you could even click double wide as well. So just keep that in mind that that's another option. Um, and then you have all these different options here as well. HOA, um, that's a good one. If people are totally against an HOA, just make sure you put um, none there. All right, so let me do a few more things here just to make sure I get some actually results. <laughs> Okay, so from here, we are going to click on the number of matches, or you can click results. Either button is fine. And search. So now it's going to bring up all these results, okay? So we're going to scroll down and click save. And then new auto email. From here, you will create your contact. 
and the email address. And then right here for salutation, you can change it to any of these or even enter a custom one. You don't have to put a phone number, it's up to you for your records. Save. And then I always suggest BCC me a copy of all emails. That way, if um, every time your client gets an email from you with upcoming properties that are available, you will get a copy and you'll see what they are seeing. And you might look at it and they forget to look at the email and you might see a house that they you really think they would like. So then that way you're ahead of the game and you can easily reach out to them and say, hey, this house came available today. Would you like to go see it? Subject line, you can put whatever you see. I usually say something like this, homes available with land, interested in any of these, homes in Arlington available. Um, this part, it gives them a nice little welcome email explaining how they can use the portal that you've set them up on. Um, I usually leave it there. You can delete it all and type your own email. It's up to you. At the end, I usually end it in, please let me know if you would like more info about any of these properties. And then it ends with your little signature and you can edit your signature right here. Reoccurring email, this is what it will go out to them every time after the initial email that goes to them. So you can add stuff here as well. I usually put that same little ending to my email there. Please let me know if you'd like more info about any of these properties. And then down here, I like to do the ASAP option where the emails are just gonna send out as soon as a new listing comes available. However, there's also this option to do daily emails where you can choose that they'll send out in the mornings or evenings. And you can also change it to where there's only certain days that it sends it, just kind of depending on what your client's wanting. Or you can do monthly emails. And then you click save. So that is how you set up an automatic email to your clients. All right. Have a good day.